all over the world say it's not fair. Not watching TV, it's not fair. <laughs> not eating the, eating the vegetables, it's not fair. Having to go to bed early, it's not fair. But let me tell you something that's not fair. Something that's not fair to parents, kids, in fact, the whole society, corruption. And it exists right now, right here, in this country, and in the whole world. Is it fair the kids have to learn under trees because someone somewhere did not put in the right amount of money to build a classroom? Do you expect these kids to focus on what they're learning or simply nag each other or look around at what's happening? How many of us know kids that have to walk for miles and miles to get to school? We probably all do, right? And these kids walk to school barefooted. They get sprinter, they get bruises, they get sprains, and uh, they get bruises, they get sprains. And is this fair to them? Worst affected is girl, are girls because they're expected to get up early and do chores and get to school on time. If they're not in school on time, they get punished. Is that fair? Why? Because someone didn't build a school close to a community for these girls, these kids, to get to school on time, to have a good education. How many of us have been sent back from the hospital because there was an equipment, there was not medication to treat us? We might say we're lucky. We go home, we go to a pharmacy, and we buy ourselves medication. What about those that don't have the money? What do they do? They go home, they sit down, and they simply wait for the situation to get worse. Is it fair to them? We have narrow roads, bumpy narrow roads that need to be fixed or roads that need to be built. But someone somewhere decided that I'm going to build myself a fancy mansion and practically sleep on gold instead of building a road. These roads lead to ditches and lead to accidents. And the people in the accidents need medication to be treated. But when they go to the hospital, there is no medication. There is no equipment. And what happens? They die. Why? Because someone somewhere decided that I'm not going to invest the right amount of money. I'm going to use it for my own personal needs. Malawi is an economical, is an econom, is economically being developed every single day. So we depend, we depend on funds, not just funds, international funds that later on need to be returned. But just because those funds are used for these personal needs, we later on have to return the funds with tax. Tax that could have been used to build roads, schools, hospitals. And is that fair to us? So we, the leaders of tomorrow, we can do better. And I expect us to do better. So right now, right here, let's make a difference. Let's do better. Let's not turn out like those people. Thank you.